Hey guys, this is your last chance to buy my plushie as the campaign ends in June, but don't worry if you missed out, because I'm sure there'll be more stuff coming down in the future, but if you're able to, go on to Onash.com and buy the plush right now. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, and please enjoy the video. Guys, look at this jewel I just found. Isn't it pretty cool? I mean, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's cool. What's wrong with it? No, I mean, it, it's cool. I, I like it. You're saying that like you don't, though. No, but I do. I, I like it. I mean, like, it's, it's like fine. It's like fine. Yeah, your jewels, it's fine. I do, I, you can't tell me you see this awesome yellow crystal and you're just gonna say it's fine. No, it's just, it's, it's unspecial. It's just, it's, it's fine. What's wrong with it? it? There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it, Okay, it looks like it could be, like, out of, like, a Happy Meal. A Happy Meal. Yeah. Wait, it, it, I found it. it I mean, it, it doesn't really disprove that it couldn't be from a Happy Meal, though. But how do you know it's from a Happy Meal? I don't know that. I'm just saying, he was just saying it was a possibility. Shut up. All right, I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> All right, sorry, Chica. We're just having a conversation. Just watch TV, I guess. <laughs> You're welcome. Fine, I'll take my jewel and you 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 don't get to look at it anymore. It's mine now. You don't get to look at it anymore. Okay? Don't act like you didn't care. I mean, I... I, I didn't. Hi there, everybody. Hey, what's up, Mr. Gold? Listen, Bonnie, Freddy, I got a job for the two of you. Some guy named Henry Emily just called. Apparently, he works at the Fred Bear Diner down the street. Oh, that old place. I used to go there a lot as a kid. Yeah, well, apparently his partner, William Afton, has been uh, down in the dumps lately. And said he said that apparently they've been in a lot of fights... And that, uh, he's been down at the dumps lately, so he needs you two to go down there and try and make him smile for us. Yeah, alright, I'm down to a trip down memory lane. Good job, boys. Now, don't disappoint me. Yeah. Oh, dude, the Fredbear Diner, I ain't been here forever. <laughs> Get off me, dude! Smiling friends! Oh, uh, hello there. Uh, you must be Mr. Emily, right? Yes, that's correct. I am Mr. Emily himself. The hell was that black and white puppet thing that just attacked me? Oh, that's my daughter. <laughs> she can get real energetic around this time of the day. <laughs> so, what do you need from us, Mr. Emily? Well, you see, my partner, uh, William, uh, he's been in the back room uh, kind of sulking. Uh, you see, we've been getting a lot of fights and arguments lately, and he's just been real down in the dumps after the last one. I kind of bit him in the arm, but I apologized, and uh, we had this whole moment, but he's still been down in the dumps, so I decided to get you guys to come down to help cheer him up. Oh, so he's just in the back room? Yeah, he's just been sitting there for a bit, a couple hours. He locked the door, uh, hopefully you guys can get in. Oh, uh, alright, well, we'll try our best. Thank you! Now, I gotta go attend to stuff in my restaurant. <sighs> alright, let's go do this. Uh, hello? Mr. Afton, can we come in? Ooh, door just kind of open there. Come on, Freddy. Uh, hello, Mr. Afton. I- Whoa! 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 Oh my god, oh. Who are you two supposed to be? Uh, we're the smiling friends. We're here to make you smile. <laughs> oh, because I was just about to use this spring lock crank and break my neck. You know, blood everywhere. End of my life. Stuff like that. <sighs> Morning, kick. Can I, can we break in, can I talk to you for a second? Look, I know it's our job to help this guy, make him smile, make him happy and stuff. But look at him, he's like, he's like seconds away from taking that spring lock crank and just... And that, that's it, that's it. So, I'm just saying, I think he's made up his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? But, but, Freddy, we, couldn't we at least have to try? I guess you're right. Look, if things go belly up, I just don't Okay, you don't, you don't have to do that that loud, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. So what's got you down in the dumps so bad, uh, Mr. Afton? Well, ever since me and Henry started getting more of those fights, it's just been unbearable. Every day I wake up and expect to get yelled at. I do something wrong, or he does something wrong, and we just get in a confrontation. It's like both of us are constantly on edge every day. And by on top of that, I can't find anything in this bleeding place that makes life worth living. And this is all I have, so I figured it would be easier just to end it all now. Uh, uh well, uh, so you need something to do, something that makes you happy. I'm sure we can find something around this old place, you know, to make you smile. 
uh, some kind of hobby to get into. Maybe then you won't have to, you know, you know. Sure, I, I guess we can try. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's go. Let's go find a hobby. Yay! Yeah. All right, Mr. Afton. Uh, how about we try singing? You know, you guys sing here all the time. Normally, Henry handles all the singing. Well, maybe it's a good first uh, attempt to, you know, try. Just, just, just give it a shot, man. Yeah, just try singing along to the music. Ad lib. <sighs> all right, I guess I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Welcome to Fred Bear's Wanna Come and Play. I think you're special in your own way. I love to sing a song with you. It's my favorite thing to do. Because I hear that Fred Bear's we love you through and through. It's fine. No, 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 no sense in putting up new hobbies if, if everyone's just gonna say you suck anyway. <sighs> let's just go do something else. Huh. Alright, well, let's, let's go then. <laughs> Alright, well, Mr. Afton, even if uh, singing didn't work out, uh, there's always other ways to pursue your talents. Cooking's a very big talent. You do lots of cooking here. Usually we stay pretty by the book with recipes. Well, that's why it's a good opportunity to experiment. Yeah, never hurts to explore a couple new avenues. There's always other cuisine options for, for the public. Uh, okay, um, I've got something in mind. I guess I could give it a shot. Yay, 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 let's go! <laughs> Well, I tried something new today. Um, I actually had a pretty good time. Um, if you boys could taste it and just see how it is. Well, sure, sir. I'll give it a whirl. All right. Mmm. Um. Mmm. Mm. It's, uh... It's good. You can just say you don't like it if you think it sucks. No, it, it, it's, um, it's a good start. I knew this was a stupid idea. Wait, 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 no, 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 hey, listen, Freddy's kind of picky. Uh, I can give it a try. I love trying new foods. You know what, man, we're not going to have a 100% hitter every time. Uh, maybe we should just try something else. All right, well, Mr. Afton, uh, at your restaurant, you know, you got a lot of kids here. Uh, you know, making kids happy is a really big thing in life. Yeah, you know, people become parents to do that kind of thing. Uh, maybe that could be your thing, you know, make your kids happy. I'm sure you tried some of it before, but let's try doing it more in full force this time. Okay, sure. Hey, kids, it's me, Spring Bonnie. Uh, welcome to Fred Bear's. Would you all like to play a game? <laughs> Maybe he needs some motivation. Um, here you go. Play with the, uh, play with the dump truck. Uh, uh, all right, um, hey, kids, you want to play with the dump truck? We, 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 we playing on the dump truck. <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> Supposed to make me not want to spring lock myself. Uh, well, y yeah. Uh, there's gotta be something else, right? Listen, boys, I appreciate what the two of you have tried to do for me today, but let's just face it, there's nothing I'm passionate about. Whether I'm good or bad at these things doesn't really matter. If I don't have the motivation or drive to do it, then what's the point? You can be fantastic at a job, but absolutely hate it. And at that point, what's life worth living if you don't like what you do? I appreciate you two trying, but I just don't think there's any hope for me. That's, uh, 
That's understandable. All right, well, uh, since we failed to make you smile, just got to sign a couple waivers, and then uh, you can uh, get to... You're morbid with that, you know? Shut up! I hate you! You just do solve my problems! You make my anger best me! You're so annoying! I hate you! You go, you do is make my life a living hell! Ah! <laughs> If you have to do it, man, it's okay. That felt good. Do you hate your rotten son? Do you hate all your rotten little children? You think they're annoying, jump, jump around and just pest you all day and you just want to be rid of them? Well, come on down to Circus Baby's Pizza World because we can take care of your kids for you. We can scoop them, suffocate them, trap them in a endless void, set them on fire, put them into experiments. By the end of the night, you will be rid of your children for only $59.99. My four funny mascot circus friends will take care of your children for you. And we had all the legal paperwork and all that stuff and you don't have your little Jewish players a fee at $59.99. If you hate your rotten kids, come on down to Circus Baby's Pizza World. World will call now! Huh. So I guess Mr. Rockton just had to find a purpose in life. Freddy, I, I can't stop thinking about that girl. She died. Did, did we cause the death of that little girl, Freddy? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>